Warning, this video contains language and subjective views not suitable for all viewers. Please exit the video if you cannot tolerate a viewpoint different from your own. Thank you and enjoy. This is an historic moment. We have in this past year made great progress in ending the long era of conflict and cold war. We have before us the opportunity to forge for ourselves and for future generations a new world order. A new world order. A new world order. A world where the rule of law, not the law of the jungle, the jungle governs, governs the, conduct the conduct of nations. Of nations. When we are when successful, we are successful. And, we will be. and we will be, and we will be, and we will be, and we will be. You are watching a master at work. Are we ready for a new world order? Now is a time when things are shifting. We're gonna, there's going to be a new world order out there. We fight for this new world order. Our country is going through a transition. A new world order, a new set of challenges is confronting us. In trying to make sure that there is, after all, a new world order. And the phenomenal opportunities before us to create a real new world order. Uh, create uh, uh, a new world order. We will be looking at what contact tracing looks like in the new world order. People run those agencies and the deputies that are pledging allegiance to the new world order. It is a big idea, a new world order. But we needed a new world order. Speed and shaping a new world order. Of a new world order. That's what this is about. Now we can see a new world coming into view. A world in which there is the very real prospect of a new world order. And that's why I wanted to speak to you today about the new world taking shape around us. About the prospects for a new world order now within our reach. A new world order can emerge. A new era. Novus Order Seclorum. A new order for the centuries, for the ages, forever. Because the intention also is to reduce the number of people in this world. At the time when the new world order was enunciated, the population of this world was only 3 billion. The intention was to reduce it to 1 billion. Now the population of the world is 7 billion. There will be a need to kill many billions of people or to starve them to death or to prevent them from giving birth in order to reduce the population of this world. This is what is in store for most, for those who will suffer and die, there will be the peace of the great. A new world order, a new consensus as to how life should and could be lived. I think the new world order is emerging and with it the foundations of a new and progressive era of international cooperation. So in conclusion ladies and gentlemen, a new world is emerging. It is a new world order with significantly different and radically new challenges for the future. Into the creation of a new uh, 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 world order. It, when really a new world order can be created, it's a great opportunity. And that's just the way it is. We've got to accept that this is the new world order. And the president outlined his vision of a new world order in which the U.S. would participate fully. The time has come for the world to move in a new direction. We must embrace a new era of engagement based on mutual interest and mutual respect. And our work must begin now. Understand, it's not necessary for people to believe this information in order to weaken democratic institutions. You just have to flood a country's public square with enough raw sewage. You just have to raise enough questions, spread enough dirt, plant enough conspiracy theorizing that citizens no longer know what to believe. Once they lose trust in their leaders, 
in mainstream media, in political institutions, in each other, in the possibility of truth. The game's won. That through conscience and free will, each of us has the right to live as we choose. The belief that power is just derived from the consent of the governed and that laws and institutions should be established to protect that understanding. This alternative vision argues that ordinary men and women are too small-minded to govern their own affairs. That order and progress can only come when individuals surrender their rights to an all-powerful sovereign. That order and progress can only come when individuals surrender their rights to an all-powerful sovereign. That order and progress can only come when individuals surrender their rights to an all-powerful sovereign. We have before us the opportunity to forge for ourselves and for future generations a new world order. A world where the rule of law, not the law of the jungle, governs the conduct of nations. When we are successful, and we will be, we have a real chance at this new world order, an order in which a credible United Nations can use its peacekeeping role to fulfill the promise and vision of the UN's founders. a new world order. Here we need a vast military-style campaign to marshal the strength of the global private sector. With trillions at its disposal, far beyond global GDP, and with the greatest respect, beyond even the governments of the world's leaders, it offers the only real prospect of achieving fundamental economic transition.